the big story from last night, Aaron Judge hit his 61st home run in Toronto, and a lot of people came out hoping they could catch that souvenir. Uh, Matt Bushman is the one who picked the ball up in the bullpen. He's the uh, Blue Jays bullpen coach, and he joins us along with his wife, uh, Sarah Walsh, who covers the Buccaneers for the NFL Network. So, uh, Matt, let me start with you. And What kind of strategy did you have in the bullpen if that home run ball ended up there? Uh, well, we had we didn't have much of a strategy, unfortunately, because I caught it and uh, and then just flipped it uh, to David Howell, another coach of ours in the, in the bullpen, um, who then proceeded to panic a little bit. And then we all just kind of stood and stared at each other thinking, what are we going to do? Okay. Was there any thought of what's this worth and do I want to hold on to this? Well, um, we talked about it. I know that the 62 was the one that uh, people had talked about being worth a lot of money. But um, yeah, we had talked about maybe having someone hidden in the hallway behind us that you just flip it to him and he just runs right out of the stadium. And then we make sure we talk to him later. (laughs) Um, trying to split it between uh, the guys at the pen, but uh, you know, when it happened, uh, I think we just we grabbed it, and I didn't want to throw it back up in the stands. That's that's one thing I didn't want to do. Did you think about asking Judge for anything, even though you're on the uh, on the Blue Jays? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're gonna try to work something out. Uh, oh. Zach Britton came over from the other bullpen, and so we'll have to work something out. Even if it's just him not uh, signing back anywhere in the AL East, unless it's with us. <laughs> if he promises to go to the San Francisco Giants, then you're fine. Perfect. That's great. Um, your uh, lovely wife, Sarah Walsh, covers the Buccaneers for the NFL Network. She's down in Florida. She's dealing with all of the, uh, the elements there. At what point do you hear from your wife that you've just given up this valuable baseball? Well, as soon as I walked in after the game... Uh, I heard about four different people say, did you see what your wife tweeted? And I said, oh, this will be good. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be uh, it'll be pretty funny. And it was. So um, I thought I'd have a lot. I, immediately when I caught it, I knew that uh, Twitter would probably go crazy. And then uh, lo and behold, my wife was part of that. Well, let's bring in Sarah. Sarah, thank you for joining us. Hopefully uh, the family's uh, safe there outside of Tampa. Were you watching the game? Dan, it's Wednesday night, and that is a big night in my household for the Beverly Hills Housewives. So I was incredibly (laughs) busy finding out how the Aspen vacation that went awry went down. Um, I am very fortunate. Uh, I do not have power. I lost power at my house. I had to evacuate. I live on Clearwater Beach, actually. So I'm in my childhood home. I'm with my parents. And I I was like, everyone needs to get out of the room. The housewives are on. I have five-year-old twins. People are losing their minds. And then my phone started blowing up. My dad, actually, who's a huge Rays fan, was flipping between the Rays and the Jays. And it had been a discussion in our house. My mom even was on top of, like, can you believe what these seats are going for to catch this Aaron Judge ball? And then my start, <laughs> phone started blowing up. And I'm like, oh, my God, did he catch this? And um, But, like, to just set the scene, because I can't see you guys, like, this is, like, this is such, like, typical of our life. Matt is, is zooming into you on a golf course. And I am stuck in a hurricane with our twins. So, like, this is our life. So, I like, I don't have power. Matt's golfing. Matt's out, like, living the dream. Like, I'm trying to figure out how life is existing down here. So, like, yeah, I did give him some stuff. I gave him some crap on Twitter. Did I think it was going to blow up the way it did? Um, and, and, and in all seriousness, I knew he would not keep that ball. Like, and so people were, you know, and people, you know how Twitter is, right? But, like, there's no way he's going to keep that ball. He also, like, we've had this conversation before, like, when I've worked at previous places and there's been situations like this, and I'm always like, give it to the guy that hit it. Like, I mean, we we know that, like, intuitively, like, that would just be our situation. But was I going to give him grief about it? Like, of course I am. Like, I mean, what? Do, what and then he shows no emotion, which I, like, I knew. Like, he's just, you know, he's got to play it safe. So then I'm like the wife out there that's, like, saying stuff and um, basically stealing his moment. So um, it's kind of par for the course. Uh, are you in trouble at all, Matt? With Always, Dan. with my wife? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that was the other part of the discussion in the bullpen was, hey, we want to play golf tomorrow, but you know, a couple guys have people in Florida, and we said, like, if it's real bad, do you do you play golf? 
do you go out and play golf? And so, you know, we're working through that. And I think it was trying to figure out what level is it okay to go out and play golf. <laughs> I can see and the so look. They're golfing. Sarah can't see the look on your face. Like you, you know, you're in trouble and there's probably going to be a follow-up conversation when we end this conversation. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just going down. My stock's going way down. <laughs> Dan, when this season ends, I, when his baseball season ends, like I'm doing nothing. Like I am not responsible for our kids anymore. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not getting off the ca- Like, I mean, things are really going to change when this wow. baseball season ends. Wow. Are yeah. you, uh, do you know what your uh, uh, location is going to be with the Buccaneers game against Kansas City? Uh, so I believe the Buccaneers are going to play that game. Um, I believe they're going to play it here in Tampa. Okay. Um, I actually won't be there because I'm flying, hopefully, to New York to host Good Morning Football early next week. So this has been, uh, it's been like a, a crazy rolling week. To be honest, the Bucks are down in Miami now. Um, so I'll be, they've been Zooming with us, with the, the folks that cover the team. So I'll be on a call with them. Brady speaking a little later today. Uh, and I think that they're going to play that game here in Tampa. Tampa was really fortunate in this storm. And, and that being said, there's a lot of people here without power and there's a lot of trees and things down and it's still going on. I mean, it's gusting outside the windows right now, but compared to um, our friends and family in Fort Myers, it's, it's nowhere near close to the devastation that they are currently dealing with. Uh, Sarah, great to talk to you, Matt, if you would somehow have gotten 62, not 61, <laughs> would you have kept 62? I mean, I think there was more of a discussion around that. Okay. Yeah. We, we, you know, it may have been not, not a quick handoff. Let's just, let's just say that. Well, more importantly, good luck with the conversation that's going to happen after this conversation is over. Yeah. That's the most important one. That's the one. I'm, <laughs> it's going to be tough, but we'll get through it. We'll work through it. And good luck with your golf game today. Thank you. Yeah, at the very least, I better play well. Uh, That's Matt Bushman and uh, Sarah Walsh, the uh, Blue Jays bullpen coach, and Sarah covers the Buccaneers for the NFL Network. You get to see the look on his face. It's like, (laughs) God, am I in trouble.